Good morning, uh, December 12th, 2008. What we have here is a double barrel elm wood stove. The only one I've ever built and possibly the only one in existence. Those uh, flexible steel tubes that you see there actually normally get connected to the free flow, to the top tubes of the free flow and are used to duct air into the other room to heat the other part of the workshop. The reason for the double barrel elm is I need to heat treat some parts. Basically I need to put some uh, baffle plates for the stoves in the upper part in the upper door and uh, basically they have to be in there at 1650 degrees for an hour and a half and then drop down to in the 1200 degree range uh, basically what happened at the foundry is because there is chromium added to the to the mix in order to keep them from burning through uh, they tend to form carbides right, right at the very edges of the pieces carbides meaning extremely hard places where you can't get a drill bit through which is not acceptable so what I did was to uh, test drill the tabs on the baffles to see if I could get a drill through them and they in fact were hard and I had like a dozen pieces that were like that so basically I'm going to uh, run this as an experiment to see maybe I can even get a photo of the uh, a view of the part inside Whoops. Excuse my clumsiness. Open the door, and there's the part, and there are the flames licking it. So basically, let's see if we can show the uh, temperature on the gauge. It says about 1750 degrees down there, which means it's hopefully close to that. I got to burn it wide open to get adequate heat and this particular stove has the uh, there's a wire mesh over the Pyrex pie plate which was installed for safety reasons uh, I usually take them out they kind of obscure the view of the flames and uh, this is a used stove I brought back from a customer in Maine uh, oftentimes I've gotten involved in completely rebuilding stoves for people, particularly these catalytic ones. So I'll rebuild the stove here and do a swap with the customer so that they don't have to be without a stove for as long. And uh, this one I just took a drive to Maine, stayed over one night and came back. This stove happened to be in excellent condition. It has not been through that process yet. Uh, still has the old paint the old knobs and even the old gaskets but I did install the secondary air tubes and uh, they're working extremely well so I'm happy with the stove uh, possibly at the end of this experiment uh, not only will I learn whether or not I've been able to successfully heat treat the part but um, I'll be able to rebuild this stove and swap it with a customer. It was kind of a challenge to get this second barrel on top. As you can see, it's not uh, painted up all spiffy yet. Uh, I had to use the tractor. My John Deere compact tractor has a bucket on the front and uh, here's a shot of the, the forks. Uh, these screw-on forks and so basically I can lift the stove up here onto the hearth pad which is oh, about two feet above the ground so I did this in two steps lifting the stove up and then lifting the upper barrel on top and then they're bolted together and then I connect with the stove pipe um, I've also got a temperature reading on the side of the barrel which says it's only 350 degrees the, that's the skin temperature of the upper steel barrel um, but since I know that there are flames licking that part inside I know it's hotter inside and uh, it's just a question of running it for a couple of hours taking that part out once it's cooled down 
taking a drill bit to it and seeing if I've been successful. This is Steve signing off. Thanks for watching. Elm Stoves, www.vermontironstove.com. That's all one word. I often have Craigslist, Vermont Craigslist uh, listings for used or reconditioned Elm Stoves. And you're welcome to go to the site, check out the listings, and learn more about Elm Stoves. Uh, one brief word about the free flow is that uh, I had been using it to heat the shop. It circulates the air really well. They're kind of rare and hard to find these days, but I kind of like them. Thanks.